absolutely it really was just such a nice night out there but now we've got a lot of ice and possibly tomorrow morning even more so yeah right? so all that wetness that we had left over just iced up out there tonight I know I went out and it was way too icy That's like right. a skating rink so keep that in mind tonight and first thing tomorrow but the good news is there's nothing falling from the sky so it's not like we're adding to the ice or adding snow or or more in that regard. So it's just that we have to wait for the sun to melt the ice that's out there now. And it's 38 in Burlington, so it doesn't seem like there would be ice, but it's one of those situations where right at the ground, it's just a little bit colder and that ice was able to form. And good thing the wind is not blowing like it was earlier. It was 50 and 60 mile per hour gusts that we were looking at. Places like Underhill, Georgia, Danby, and Bennington. Really the western side of the Green Mountains, the areas that typically see those strong wind gusts. But that system has moved out and now it's a lot more tranquil out there. And really mild for this time of night. The average low is in the teens. I think in a lot of spots we take off a couple degrees, but that is it. It's 36 in Middlebury right now, 39, uh, 34 in Lebanon, I should say 33 in Montpelier, and these are the wind speeds right now. So again, really not a big deal compared to what we had earlier, five miles per hour in Plattsburgh, 14 miles per hour in Burlington. So the sky is clearing. We've added the yellow impact icon for those icy spots as we go through tomorrow morning and temperatures again dropping a couple degrees, but not too much more. So let's take a look at future cast here going forward. It is a beautiful Monday. If you want to go skiing the next couple days, it's like spring conditions with temperatures in the 40s. Should mention though, I do think there will be a little bit of a breeze tomorrow, so it's not completely calm, but still with the sunshine, it'll be pretty nice for Monday. We'll do it all over again on Tuesday. A ton of sunshine, just a little breeze in play. And for Wednesday, it looks like a little front comes in close to the north. And that'll send in a few light showers first near the Canadian border on Wednesday, and those will drift to the south. Not a big deal. They're very light and very scattered on Wednesday. And before then, we have that sunshine to enjoy. So tomorrow, we're looking at 47 in Middlebury, 46 in Lebanon, close to 50 in places in the south like Keene. Should be about mid-40s in the Champlain Valley. So Tuesday, not much to worry about. Really no big concerns until the end of the week. We actually have new information coming in on this late week storm. Still looks like the coastal areas will get battered by this with big waves, wind, erosion, coastal flooding. But for us, it looks like we're on the real northern fringe. It's a big area, a big block in the weather pattern that keeps the system to the south, and it may get shunted just to the south. So the rain may not even make it too far to the north. And that's at least initially, but then cold air comes in and it could switch to snow early Friday morning into Friday, but really unimpressive looks on the latest model run. So if there is snow, it's probably way south of the Champlain Valley and in the higher elevations, but we have several days before we get to Friday to fine tune that forecast. And how about this? I mean, it's so mild going forward. 46 tomorrow, 48 on Tuesday, 50 on Wednesday. We have a couple of those showers in here on Wednesday, but not much. And then it cools off just a hair on Thursday. Still dry on Thursday before that system moves in. But Jen, at this point, it's quite possible that Friday ends up dry in the Champlain Valley. Wow. So things moving here as we update you, but the trend looks like it's south. It's something we'll keep you updated on. Very exciting. And what was your favorite part of the closing ceremony, Tyler? Well, the panda. The I know. Electric panda. It was your favorite, the but the electric part. panda was cool. It was on for a while, too, doing all sorts of different they things. They did so. the whole entire thing. It was an absolutely stunning display of showmanship, and it was just an yeah. exciting month to be a part of. Wasn't now it? we have to wait, what, how long? Two, Two and a half years, years yeah, for the Summer Olympics. It's so. exciting. And coming up in local sports. <laughs>